body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. <laughs> Yo. 
Howdy. Howdy, howdy. What's up, folks? What's up, gamers? What kind of greeting would they say um, in, like, Twin Peaks? Like, what would Dale Cooper say if he was, like, walking into a room? He would just say, like, hello. He would say, like, hello in, like, a very normal way, I think. Yeah, I guess that is the most, like, white picket fence thing to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking about Twin Peaks because that's the vibe that I get from this new game about Mothman. Yeah, we're on our Mothman prophecies type shit tonight. Yeah. Um, we're going cryptid hunting, folks. You knew it was coming. The Mothman is a personal favorite figure of mine, uh, so... I'm very excited about that. Did you see the movie? I did see the Mothman prophecies when I was like a kid and we watched it at like my aunt's house or something. Ooh. I was really young. I don't like remember that much about it, but I had like a have like a spooky aunt who like loves like freaky like horror shit and That's like so the important. And stuff. It's so yeah, important totally. to have a spooky aunt. Yeah, exactly. Um Richard Gear, you know, just on his on his gear shit as usual. I don't really remember anything about. I remember the like freaky sort of like vocoded like voice on the phone. Ooh. You know, like those voice disguiser things. Right. Yeah, it was like. But I don't. E I can't even remember if that was like supposed to be the Mothman or if it was just like some other shit. I don't know. Yeah, is but Mothman supposed to be like a humanoid? Or more like a monster. I think it's really more like a monster. It's it's a creature for sure. Um, definitely sort of a, a beast. Yes, you that's know. what I thought. Yeah. That's how we like our cryptids. Yeah, they don't totally. have to be like us. We already have enough of us. There's enough of us. Uh, yeah, I think there's like a lot of cool like Men in Black stuff in the uh, Mothman movie. There very well could be. I like don't remember it all. But there should be. Just get a load of that. You so can we're see looking we're at a Twin Peaks feeling. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, folks, we're dealing with what's called a pixel pull. Uh, something, a term that I believe the developers sort of came up with uh, that did not exist previously to describe this unique. Uh, sort of approach to uh, an adventure game. Um, I love the art style. I love the color palette. Uh, it's very cool, and we're gonna we're gonna get into it. You're gonna come along for the ride. Yeah, I feel like Pixel Pulp is exactly like all you need to know. Totally. But yeah, I think you and I both were like watching updates about this game for a long time. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, it definitely was, like, on my radar. Um, yeah, lots of cool little screenshots getting released, and, like, the aesthetic itself just looks so cool. So Totally, totally. It seems like they, they really know their stuff. They know the noir sort of, like, fun pastiche type thing. Absolutely, yeah. I get excited about games like this that clearly have like a very specific like vision that like know what they are what they're trying to do um, yeah do you know if they've just... released anything else or if this is like their first like big thing i don't i don't actually um yeah that's something i gotta i gotta go to school on manic pixie Pixie pole. Pixel pole. Oh my god. How do you like oh. say that five times fast? I've had like two sangrias, <laughs> so like that was the ultimate like test to see if I could pass as sober and having to say that out loud uh, <laughs> yeah. totally revealed my state. Oh, okay. Chorus Worldwide, the developer. It looks like they do actually, they've made quite a few games uh, prior to this. Um, nice like similar type genre that's 
that's kind of what it looks like. Um, you know, I'm seeing like some different some different art styles and stuff, but um, I mean, I'm honestly I'm just looking at like thumbnails, so it's kind of hard to tell. Right. But it does seem like they are mostly focused on these kind of like adventure adventure games or almost sort of like visual novel type stuff. Nice. Okay, I really like the novel aspect of it. That's Absolutely, kind of yeah. Vibe. It's almost yeah. You ready to jump in? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Okay, let's be whole. I don't think this is like a... I thought this was like a character choice, but I think you're just like on the whole chapter. Yeah, that's what... Yeah. That's what do. do you want to be the narrator? <laughs> Please. We can, we can switch off. We can switch off. I'll start as the narrator. Okay. Three red and five black in the discard pile. Ooh. Of the six cards face up on the counter, two are red and four are black. So five red in all, and nine black. You have no more moves. So you have to bet now. Ooh. You play cards? <laughs> Not really. What's it gonna be, babe? Will you black or red? What did we have more of? Black. I think. Wait, what's it say in the chat? Black? Okay, we're doing black. Hit it. A large majority of the face-up cards are black. Jimber Boof. Do I know you? Are you... That's Jimber. Alex. Oh, that's, okay. That's my homie, Alex. What's up, Alex? Thanks for hopping in. That's a good name. Thanks for and you And know, you know that betting against a streak is usually dangerous. Even though you've already chosen, you decide to stay away from the counter. You can't bear losing again. I certainly can't. Holt is already like a perfect, tragic, gritty character. You think of your grandma, Elsie, trying to win at solitaire over her 60 years. All right, Elsie, it took you that long. Like that's a <laughs> 60 years at solitaire. Yeah. Elsie saw now. solitaire. You take a deep breath and keep sweeping. Elsie's been paralyzed from the waist down since she was 21. Your mom was only two months okay, old. Okay, now I feel bad for making fun of her. Yeah, me too. The winter Elsie taught you to play solitaire, your parents and sister had been dead for almost a year, and you'd already begun to forget their faces. Although you cook for her, do her laundry, bathe, and even dress her, it still feels like she's the one taking care of you. You close your eyes and almost feel Elsie stroking your hair. You're 11 years old again, kneeling next to her bed, crying your heart out. Ooh, I like that. Suddenly the bell rings and you feel an invisible force trying to drag you into the present. Oh, I know. I, I want to look through. Did we look? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Those fucking kids. Fucking the first brat is followed by two more. They step on the hose and activate the bell for a second and a third time. We got some ding-dong ditch motherfuckers kids in here. Kids are always activating the hose. You don't know what comes over you, but you yell some things at them that you're too ashamed to remember. Been there. They call them gay wads. <laughs> you justify yourself thinking that they might be the ones who got into your garage that night. And stole some parts of the replica machine gun you're building. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Chekhov's gun. I hope that comes back. <laughs> You won't let anyone mess with your project. All right, Holt's building a killdozer. 
Yes. The Winans, Winans, Steam Machine Gun is the jewel of your collection. Okay, so we got like an antique gunsmith motherfucker here. This guy's on some like Eugene Stoner shit. Look the at this guys yell at. <laughs> the kids yell at you, old freak, and laugh, sheltered by the distance. Deep down, you know that it can't be them. It's funny that it's like, oh, they're sheltered by the distance when it's like, they could probably beat your asshole. <laughs> How would they know which parts of the machine gun were worth stealing? Anyway, that guard dog's being brought over in a few days and you'll be able to stop oh, working. Man. This guy's been visited by the moth, I think. He's got moth brain. God? Yeah, he's got moth brain. Should I check the hose? Yeah, I guess we can check out the hose. You think about what someone told you at the bar about replacing the hose with a thicker one so that it could only be activated by the weight of a car. And what happens if the kids jump with their bikes and land on top of the hose with one of the wheels, you asked? Kids are always going to find some way to bust your balls, they replied. That's true. They'll do a little Fortnite dance on your hose. Okay, since we were playing solitaire, that changes, like, my approach. If we have to play some more. Okay. I don't, I don't even know how to play solitaire. I've, like, never played it. Really? Yeah. It's nice. I was more of a minesweeper guy. Oh my god. Completely different. Well, just in terms of, like, the two, the two games that you can play on your, like, windows 95 computer when you're like wasting time at work uh sure. in like the mid the mid 90s or the early 2000s i guess yeah back when you were at work in the mid 90s well i don't fucking know i was in school we had math blaster when too they... but oh yeah i fuck with math blaster yeah um when did they like introduce a pinball so i re i remember pinball in like elementary school for sure like yeah. fifth fifth grade sixth grade we definitely were on the pinball yeah i could probably get that running in a uh, retro arc i mean they probably just have like a desktop version that you could like go to. there's probably yeah there's probably like an ios version you don't have just, to like install like, it yeah you can just play it on your phone your grandma always said that everyone has their place in the world uh-oh Ooh. People keep dancing around it without ever reaching it. This is my hole. From the comic. Junji Ito. It didn't work? Oh my gosh, Alex, did you try? And it didn't work? Damn it. Alright, wait, let me see. I think we have multiple Alexes in the chat. Yeah, Alex and Alex. Um... Alex, 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 Alex. Please to make the introduction. Why didn't it work? I even tested it. Maybe it's because... Francis, have you followed the stream yet? I don't think so. Follow it right now and see if it does anything. Get ready, it might be really loud. <laughs> Oh no, I do. I do follow it. I do oh, follow shit. it. Oh um, shit. I don't know. Like, wouldn't that work though? It's new. I actually haven't like tried it on the stream, so it might just be that it's set up wrong. Let me see. Uh, will you vamp for a second, Francis? Vamp? Yeah. What? Just, what does that mean? Talk? Vamp? Talk about stuff? Uh, so, the Mothman. The Mothman. The titular Mothman. What can, what can we say about him? Ooh. 
Uh, he's an he's elusive, elusive creature. Um, definitely some reports in the sort of lore of okay, like marginal. Good, okay. So okay. it doesn't show up as. Wait, why is it playing again? I don't know what the hell is going on, but now you know. Yeah, I don't know. How, is there a way to make it not courage? Can you do like a randomly spawning follow? That would be cool to do like a Gashapon. I have so many gifts saved on my computer now. I have like an entire file of like Beetlejuice gifts. Oh shit, okay. All right, I need to look into that. So I guess that's why it didn't work. You can't like unfollow and follow, but that's kind of... Seems kind of unfair. You're really bad at vamping, not to be mean. At this point, I just want to go off on on Twitch and just be like, "Fix your fix your shit. Get oh, trust get, Q, me. get QA on this. I mean, come on, guys. What the fuck? I'm already mad as hell because I was trying to do a watch party tomorrow where we ignore a copyright to material and do a Shh. share screen, and I can't even do that. It's basically 1984. It's Fahrenheit 451 and 1984. Well, yeah, like I need to find a torrent that works, but like... Like the problem is, if you do it from a streaming service like Netflix or whatever, it like blacks out and you can't like watch it on the stream. So like I tried to download it, but like there's no one torrenting it right now. I just, I think it's like so fucking psychotic that like they have software engineers like writing all this code to just like, like yeah, make it like, so that like that shit like doesn't work. Like I trying to like, like five friends. Yeah, like anticipate like every possible way that someone could try to like copy the image of the stream or something and just like saying like nope, 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 right. nope. Also, fucking like, psychotic use of time. Uh, did you guys watch it like live, like from a streaming service? Because now I'm like, how did you do it? Because I tried everything. I tried three different camera feeds. Like I tried Discord, Streamlabs, and like another one, and none of them could like capture the video. That's why. Yeah, I need to try to find a download. It's just like so not in demand for downloads so like right a hundred percent if you have the download you can just you can i mean i got it. to the point last night that i was like downloading like software to like try and do a rip and then i was like oh i think i'm like getting some i think i might have like installed some malware so i'm gonna like back <laughs> up a little bit Dave. yeah back yeah no no good i mean I, like all my life like it, it's time for me to give back to the touring community you know, like sure. I should be doing my part. Yeah, I you got to keep that a, a plow. Keep that ratio up. Yeah, for sure. Maybe I'll someday I'll like uh, look into it, but I was trying to rush it because I was just like wanting to make it work. So we'll still have a stream. We just like need to find something else that we can do if Dragula doesn't work out, which I will be sad. Technically, season one is on YouTube, but it's like me and Tim have already seen it, so it wouldn't have the same like oomph. Anyway. We can watch Ink Master. <laughs> yeah, we're still gonna dress up. I made a special overlay for it. I'll give a peek. I'll literally give a peek right now. Let's see it. Uh, okay. Ready? Yes. Oh wait, let me find it. What did I title it? Game? Oh, this is it. There we go. Oh, fuck. That's so sick. Thanks. Oh, man. 
We need to find something to do. I was thinking about doing like, um... I don't know, some kind of like one-shot, like... Tabletop game. But... That could be, that could be fun. It just doesn't feel the same. I don't know, I'll, I'll talk it over with the other hosts. And, uh... We'll keep everyone updated. Absolutely. But I got my, I got my costume planned. And it's called... Mascara Mustache. Okay, thank you for popping in, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, nice to see you. Talk to you soon. Um, okay, so... If we do get any more followers, we, we do know that the, uh, the alert should work. I don't understand this bit about winning solitaire. I feel like it's pretty easy, but maybe it's like a metaphor mm -hmm. about like, oh, when you're by yourself, you know, no he's man in is his... an island. Yeah, he's in his own head about it. Yeah. He's going He's going like Inland Empire about it, about maybe, solitaire. Maybe Elsie didn't know how to play. Was that a Disco Elysium reference? Yes. Babe. He does have okay. Detective Dubois energy. This guy's like me. He gets anxious and freaks out about something, and he just goes and like puts Organizes. puts stuff. Yeah, puts stuff away. <laughs> does the dishes. Doing simple jobs builds up your self confidence. It's true. It's true. It's something it's... I didn't realize until I was like 28, 29. Until you heard Jordan Peterson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Until I learned how to clean my room. And it provides you some illusion of control. Hey, you know, it's not illusion. It's just a micro version of what you can achieve. Yeah, absolutely. It's real. I'm it's trying to be illusion. therapy to hold. We're trying to be like the sensible counterpart to Jordan Peterson ideology. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. What do you think? Um... I like the middle path. I always like the sort of middle path, I think, in, in things. Um, yeah, I'm wow. kind of a Buddhist that way, I guess you could say. Yeah. And actually, I think that's not really true, but let's do middle. Can I pick this one? Yeah. I'm going can. Maybe it'll be beans. Oh, this is interesting. like I'm playing fucking Resident Evil all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Doing a little inventory management. Get a little herbs going. Yeah. I'm gonna switch it with the box. You think this is a puzzle? I like the background music here. It's nice, it's cute, and just kind of fun, you know? Um. Yeah, this like... Got a, got a little bounce to it. This is reminding me of my first job, which was working at Simple Simon's Pizza in a gas station on Texana Road out in Eufaula, Oklahoma. And Texana Road was where all the bikers and like people would drive through with their buses when they were going out to the woods to get get feisty and go fishing mm -hmm. and get drunk. So going I out saw, to the woods to like bury a body. Yes, I met all kinds of people. Just making pizzas. Oh, and it was a bait shop. That was the other thing. It was a combination gas station, pizza place, and bait shop. So you could smell the minnows. I'm at the gas pizza. station. I'm at the pizza place. I'm at the bait shop. I know that's right. I'm at the right. combination gas station, pizza place, bait shop. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I got to pay attention right now. All right, I'm going to put the cans on the top shelf. How about that? I'm putting Yeah, see together. how... See how much shit you can fit up there. See if you can just stick it all up there. No, I think we're doing three by three. <laughs> okay, okay. That would give him too much anxiety. We're trying to heal this man. Yeah, we're like stewards of Holt's like internal state yeah. right now. Okay. Can's going on top. Box. 
I like how the can looks like nuclear waste. <laughs> yeah. Little. I mean, it's it seems like the entire color palette is very like skewed towards like blues and greens in this yeah. in this interesting way. I like that. You too. What do we think? That sounds like a I know. Place. Yeah, I know. My man Holt likes likes that. I think you I know, got every... an achievement, but I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Everything in its right place. Ooh, are you trying to do a little Radio Hood reference? Not really. We were talking about Radio I'll take it. before the stream, and I've been thinking about it. Yeah. So now we got, got these gang stalkers, your favorite. <laughs> yeah. They're charging up the uh, psychic ray. <laughs> yeah. They're going to do a. Um, Fuck, what's that like ray that the they were saying like Cuba was using? Oh Havana syndrome. Yeah, and they're gonna all give, that shit. Yeah, 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 they're gonna yeah. give Holtz Havana syndrome. Yeah. They're they're firing up the uh the cop fentanyl ray. Yeah. They're gonna <laughs> dust the doorknob with it. <laughs> you feel the same urgency as before and you can't think of anything else. Okay, this is like uh I've been listening to a Shadowrun podcast and one of the characters has, has like an ability. Uh, that I really like, where it's just sensing danger. It's like you literally don't know anything, no details or whatever, but you just have this like back of the neck sensation that like something's about to happen. Sure. And like I really yeah. like that as just like a mechanic where it's like you're nervous, but you're kind of like powerless at the same time. Yeah, I think that's something that this type of game kind of relies on and also consequently is able to do really well. Yeah. Um, cuz you're kind of locked in. I mean, the only choices you have are are the ones that they give you. Uh so there's a lot of like narrative control on their part, you know. That's it. Uh-oh. I told you, Men in Black. Ooh, a caddy. Mm. These guys are always so slick. I know. Fucking Don Draper looking ass. Yeah. You wish you'd ask them how they got into the station without you hearing the door, door open. Look at this guy. They left the car without the bell ringing. But that trembling yes was the only thing you managed to utter. The moose! The moose? After a few seconds of not receiving any response, you decide to break the silence. Let's let's ask them what's up with the moose. I want to kind of parlay with these guys. Like, what's going on? You bought a woman a whiskey? Ooh. Sounds dangerous. You don't know if it's the right move, but you try to relax and be more friendly. I would Do dead. you know of a more effective way to socialize? I like this guy. You told her the dream about your grandma. Wow. I really like this art. Very it's minimal. so good. And it's like, what is it's that so called good. when they're using like negative space to like make shapes? It's Cheriscuro. For sure. It's like, it's like, um, kind of like Baroque painting where a lot is just like sheer black and you're kind of making out like little shapes here and there that kind of give you give your brain a sense of like the full image this looks so good yeah i went to art school for uh, a couple semesters before i dropped out of college so but you remember kind of cheriscura yeah kind of an expert on all that stuff i like the one pixel here yeah absolutely 
a chill runs through your bod. It's been a few weeks since that night. And even though you had a good time with Martha and have no regrets, something about the way these men in black ask their questions makes you uneasy. Making me uneasy for sure. Will you do it? What? What do you want to know? Granny in the forest. One of the men farther back lets out a cracking noise. You look at him, believing he's laughing, but the man in black's expression doesn't change. Hmm. Let's find out what they want. Like, what do they want to know? Yeah, am I being detained? Exactly. No one answers. What's that uh, video where they're like, fuck off Friday or stay quiet? Shut up. Shut up Friday. Shut up. Fuck off Friday. Stay quiet Saturday. Shut yeah, up yeah. Sunday or yeah, something. Yeah. Is that it? I just made that up. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't seen that. <laughs> there's like a TikTok that these lawyers have. I guess they're lawyers where they're talking about like how you should like, if the cop talks to you. I think they're like weed lawyers or something, but they're like, oh, if the yeah, cop okay, asks you okay. questions, you shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's like, shut the fuck up Friday. I think it's really alarming for there to be like lawyers on TikTok. Like if you're retaining a lawyer who is like on TikTok, you're going <laughs> to jail. Except for the like weed lawyers and that yeah. one, like the one TikTok lawyer who just like gets people out of drunk driving charges. Oh, they're nice. like, they're they're the only trustworthy lawyers on TikTok. I think like all the rest of them, you really need to be asking yourself like, what are you doing here? You know? Dancing, that's what. Yeah. It's like it's they're, like they're waiting for response. another response. Let's let it rip. Yeah. My grandma has been bedridden for over 60 years. But in the dream, I saw her running through the woods. Start from the beginning. And don't omit any details. You don't know if it's the way they look at you or because of a certain authority in their voice. Tell them everything about the dream. Five or six weeks ago, you woke up in the middle of the night certain that something had happened to your grandma. You ran up to her room and Elsie wasn't in bed. The window was wide open. You ran to it and saw someone walking through the trees. It was her. And she was holding a rifle of the kind your ancestors would have carried in the Civil War. You tried to call out to her. Your grandma started running and shot two or three times into the blackness of the forest. You were about to go down to find her when a winged figure with glowing red eyes appeared in front of the window and screamed. You stumbled backwards. And after hitting your head on the bedpost, you lost consciousness. You woke up in your bed and remembered the dream almost instantly. You went up the stairs two at a time and opened the door to her room. Your grandmother slept peacefully. On the bedside table was the glass of milk you bring her every night and the deck of cards she uses to play solitaire. During the days that followed, you tried to convince yourself that it had all been a dream even though you couldn't explain where the little stitches at the base of your skull had come from. Ooh. After a few seconds, one of the men in black speaks again. Those spots on her legs predate her birth, Holt. What? What is he talking about? Is he referring to the dozens of moles on your grandma's legs? And what do they mean by saying those spots predate her birth? Elsie always makes the same joke when you sponge her calves. Be thankful that you have to clean my legs and not my grandfather's. 
according to what she told you, her granddad had been shot dead by an experimental weapon early in the Civil War, when his legs were ripped to shreds. The wine and steam gun, son. A machine gun that doesn't appear in any book. You think about the replica you're putting together in the workshop, and you wonder if it was the man in black who had stolen those pieces. You're not telling anyone else about this visit, whole. You start to complain when one of the men in black picks up a card from the counter. The top card of the deck. The crunch horrifies you. The teeth of the man in black seem to tear more than simply paper. Oh my god. Desperate, you throw yourself under the counter and look for the card. Your heart is pounding. You look out the window and you don't see the Cadillac. You walk to where the car was parked a few moments ago. You step on the hose and the bell rings. What the fuck? Jack of Diamonds. Motherfucker. It's red. You think about the edge one of the men in black tore off. And you remember the noise he made when he chewed it. Was it a threat? A warning? You wonder if you should tell your grandma everything that happened, or just keep your mouth shut and keep playing solitaire with a marked card. I like that. Would you tell me if this happened to you? <laughs> I, think, I think I would have to. I think I'd be too like twisted up to not. You'd be like, what's going on with you? You'd wheedle it out of me. I had a dream that you were in um, that had some weird monsters in it. Was it like a, was it good for me? Was it like good or bad? Like, was I being cool and like heroic or was I being like, like, was I like scared? I, the only thing that I remember, uh, they look like the apes from Princess Mononoke where they were like kind of shadow guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I was like, we just have to face them head on. We need to look at them. And when I woke up, it was when I was trying to shine a flashlight on them and like speak at the same time and kind of like yell at them to be like, come out. Right. And I like yeah. made a noise to like make myself up. So Ooh, I remember I do what that. you were up yeah. to. Okay. Well, as long as I didn't do anything like incriminating like or like pants. embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. What if you peed your pants in my dream, but it made me pee my pants? Or like, it like made for me or you? If I peed my pants in your dream and you woke up and your bed was wet, but yeah. it, it was my pee, yeah, that'd be <laughs> yeah. so fucked up. Yeah. All right, you can you can take over reading for a little. I think. Okay. Victoria says, "I told you it's nothing." That Dan pause again. There's something she's not saying. The Mustang purrs. You shake your head, feeling sad inside. The sound of an engine hides no secrets. Lee, you're right. You bite your lip and sigh. Why is everything so damn hard? Victoria settles into her seat. Let's start over, okay? Where are we going? Let's, let's communicate. Okay. It's a surprise. Like that. <laughs> Please. Yeah, this guy, Holt really knows how to make a woman feel no, this comfortable. Is oh, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. We're in like a totally different narrative now. Yeah. I'm worried it's a little loud. Check out All this good. menu, though. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. 
simple but effective. Yeah. I like the uh, Mothman glyph up at the top there. Yeah, me too. We love a glyph. Yeah. yeah. I like says, the music too. Yeah. It's, it's like s simple but effective. It's just like this, just nice. Like it's so bouncy and kind of like a little whimsical, you know? It's kind of like pulling, pulling us along a little bit. Yeah. Sounds like a Game Boy. Yeah. We said. No, Vic, have some patience. Oops. You'll never forget this night. Victoria giggles and you think, this is the best gift in the world. For a moment, you forget all the previous discussions, your obsessions. A giggle, a friendly gesture, making someone feel good ain't rocket science. You look at the clock and can't believe your eyes. You left your house on time, but you're pretty late. How could you step on the gas? Ooh, is that lost time? Uh-oh. We got a little lost time going on? If it is, that bodes very badly. Unless you're a freak like Mulder and you get excited. <laughs> Lee, that's nice. I bet you like that since you love hot rods. What? You're like Lee, you love hot rods and babes. Fuck out of here. Don't impugn my character on stream like that. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Lee! You scratch the side of your head. Wow, you really hate being told how to drive. Lee? Why doesn't she just tell you to slow down, this bitch? You take your foot off the gas. Thanks. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're trying oh yeah, your best. he's really yeah, really trying trying his best. Yeah, great. You know what they say about nice guys. You know what they say about nice guys. You really think Victoria could be the one? The one. Your dad once said the perfect woman doesn't exist. Couples form when they people get tired of looking and just give up. Damn. You remember your mother's Eight. rants? All those women's names she rattled off as if they were part of an endless grocery list? What were you gonna say? Uh, just that his dad really went in on his mom there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it sounds like he was right, too. She was quite a nag. Quite a nag. Ball and chain. You won't end up like him. I would never marry my mom. Anything but that. You try to smile and force yourself to be more cheerful. You want a clue? Yes! Wow. Victoria looks into your eyes and you feel a warmth on your face that takes you by surprise. She's a perfect woman. You felt the same thing the first time you saw her in college. You keep looking at her for a few seconds that seem like forever. What? Do I have a booger? Where? <laughs> you can't help laughing out loud and have a hard time containing the urge to kiss her. Ew! <laughs> Origin? Um... Or date? Let's lean into the romance. Let's, let's do the date. It happened a hundred years ago. Victoria answers almost immediately. After all, you're both majoring in history. The end of the Civil War! No, not in 1865. I mean exactly a hundred years ago, Vic. Oh, let me think then. You're running out of time! There was a cholera outbreak in 1866, right? Cold. And how twisted do you think I am to set up a date themed around a cholera outbreak from a century ago? I was thinking that too. Mm. He's gonna be like, no, I actually set up a date around uh, this rare machine gun. <laughs> and I'm gonna make you watch me put it in my mouth. Oh man. He's like, I've been stealing all these pieces of this guy's gun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's hot? <laughs> yeah. Do you like me? I did it for you. You think I'm cool? Yeah, I did it for you. 
It he's comes... on some like John. He's on some John Hinckley shit yeah. a little bit. It comes from far away. Victoria makes a gesture for you to complete the sentence. You just shrug. It comes from far away. Ancient aliens. But they don't teach you about that in college. <laughs> yeah, not these days the way it is with the freaking woke agenda. Yeah, am I right? they're keeping the truth away from you. Yeah. I mean, that could be anything. Guess then. The circus? Freeze and cold. One would be a source of superstition. But we're talking thousands. A source of superstition. A black hat? Victoria looks at you expectantly, desperate to be right. No, Vic, just give me a minute. Dude, just let her be right. Oh my <laughs> god. This fucking guy. Yeah, it's a black hat. You won't guess it unless it's the radio or the mirror. Mm. Oh, glove box. You reach out to open the glove box and Victoria grabs your wrist. I believe it's me. Victoria opens a glove box and examines its contents. A folder, a box, a flashlight. What are you looking for exactly? Tell her to look under the flashlight. Hmm, a book. 1966, Shelby Mustang. The car handbook? No, not that. What else? Hmm. We're, I think it's going to be the box that's the big yeah. moment. And I think we really want to build her up to that and like really like kind of get her worked up. So let's take a look at the folder. Victoria opens the folder and examines the documents. Some papers, insurance details. Ooh, insurance details. Yeah, she's she's hot now with those insurance details. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, have it. Yeah. Yeah, she's Randy with the insurance details. Yeah, yeah. let's have her read, read some of that. Wow. Lee, that would have been a perfect opportunity to butter her up. <laughs> What's in the box? Remember? Only because I, wa I like, finally watched that movie, like, this year. I know. I feel like th that's the kind of movie that, like, everyone is supposed to pull up when they're, like... I don't know. It just felt like crazy to watch Seven, like, uh -oh. in, the, in like my thirties, and yeah. be like, "Oh, this, this." I guess this was like, I mean, there were things I liked about it, but it was just funny to be like, "Yeah, I guess this would have been pretty cool when it came out like twenty years ago or something." Yeah, I mean, I saw it when I was younger, and like, really, all I remembered was like the opening sequence and like, kind of like the dark vibe sure. of the city and the library yeah. and stuff it's like no i mean aesthetically it's it's really cool it is it looks great just that kind of like burnt weird look that they did with the yeah. film where it's all like oversaturated and stuff i mean that's super cool but it's i just feel like twists are like better now or something right well yeah also like, it's like the way the movie happens is like you see all this like extremely like gruesome fucked up stuff and then like the climax is supposed to be like a head in a box it's like it hits harder because it's like this sympathetic character or whatever but like after everything else you've sure. seen it's really like okay like she killed her but like it's not as shocking as totally like, yeah. i don't know fucking someone to death or whatever it felt it felt like mechanical in in a way that's like yeah. hard to explain it's like we have know. to do something to, like make it really personal for this guy so like yeah we'll kill his wife i mean it's the classic fridge yeah it's a classic fridging. Really, it's just like, okay, man, all right. You like, know. you had to. You had to. You had to do it like that. Let's see what you've been hiding. You think about saying something, but you instantly regret it and keep your mouth shut. Spare change, a lighter, a pack of cigarettes. Nothing to worry about, I reckon. Keep looking, please. Already got everything out. One second, there's this too. Victoria stretches out her hand and you finally grab the map you wanted. It was folded against the bottom of the glove box. You start talking and Victoria interrupts you. Hold that thought while I put everything back. 
You put the map on the dashboard while Victoria puts away the folder, the box, the flashlight. Vic, you know I like it tidy in, tidy in there. <laughs> it's like you again. <laughs> you get so yeah. mad if I put uh, your glove box together in the wrong way. Oh my god. You would steer into traffic. If any Francis defenders want to fire off in the <laughs> chat, feel free at this point. You're gonna have to spend some bids for that. Yeah, I'm under I'm under assault right now. Big flicks through the book she found. Red badge of courage. Haven't you read this book a thousand times already? Is that a real book? It is a real book, but it's like funny because it's like a. I mean, it's like an old book. It's it predates like what we understand as like young adult fiction. Oh. But it is that. It's like kind of like a book for kids from like a long time ago. So it's just like funny that that's the book. Is it like Johnny Tremaine? It's like. Who, I, I don't know who that is. You know, she's it's testing. For, it's like funny that that's kind of like the reading level that oh. my, my man is at. Kind yeah. of. It's like that's what he's like. That's his like fight club or whatever. Do you wish he had like Artemis Fowl? Well, that's what I'm saying is like, it's it's kind of like on that level. It's like something like that, you know? It's like where the red fern grows or fucking, it's like a book you would read in elementary school. <laughs> that's all. Okay, I was hoping you would grab that Artemis Fowl reference and run with it, but. I never read it. What do you want me to do with that? I never yeah, I read can it. Tell. Guess I'm toad, guess I'm in the doghouse. You know she's testing you. Vic knows exactly why you carry it everywhere. The novel that portrays the era you're obsessed with like no other. Red flag! <laughs> yeah, jump out of the car. <laughs> what the hell is this? Suddenly you remember you're using the pencil sketch that Victoria drew of you in one of your classes as a bookmark. A sketch she begged you with tears in your eyes to destroy, and you swore you already had. Hmm. Vic, I'm sorry. I swear. Watch out! You wanna take uh -oh. it? You swerve to avoid a shape in the road. Victoria looks back. Lee? We almost ran that thing over. You put your hand on Vic's shoulder trying to reassure her. Victoria points ahead. Just keep your eyes on the road, please. She's doing it again, telling you how to drive. At least this time, she came right out with it, instead of just saying, Lee, disapprovingly. Man, this fucking guy. You try to control yourself, but it's hard. It's not just this last thing, but the buildup of all the small gestures. Take the map and throw it on her lap. I hate small gestures. I hate a buildup of small gestures. Men hate that. Victoria raises her arms in disbelief. The Leonids, Victoria. We're going to have dinner watching the Leonids. Uh-oh, he's pissed. Oh, the meteor shower. The Leonid meteor shower. Okay. Okay. Wow. You're a little astronomer. Yeah, I guess. Victoria says nothing. Typical. I wouldn't expect her to know what that is. Forgive me for trying to arrange the perfect date. Uh -oh. You try to keep silent, but you can't hold it in. What did she do? <laughs> oh, man. I thought he was going to get mad at her. A meteor shower. A phenomenon associated with the passage of the Tempel Tuttle Comet every 33 years. Women fucking love it when you talk to them like this. Is he going to wear those shoes that like the Branch Davidians had? <laughs> uh, it, you're thinking of the Heaven's Gate guys. The like, the Nikes. Yeah. Like, 
the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. classic the classic Nikes. They're like a thousand dollars on yeah. eBay now. Yeah, the exactly. swagged up Nikes. The swagged up Who Nikes. Who were the yeah. first Uh, that was the the Waco guys. That oh, was yeah, the yeah. Waco guys. Of yeah. course. Forgive me. Yeah. Heaven's Gate was the like Jesus on a comet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I know all about them. Sleeping in the bunk beds together. Yeah. yeah. Still Victoria. Keeping the website going. Still keeping their website going, and I have to shout it out as just an iconic, almost time capsule of uh, mid '90s HTML and graphic design, web design. We'd love to see it. Yeah, that okay. is Space Jam. Victoria keeps staring ahead. In 1866, there was one of the most spectacular meteor showers ever recorded. I saw some lithographs in the library. Victoria doesn't even move. Everyone makes a wish on a shooting star. Do you think that Victoria is freaked out because she had like a bad dream about something associated with the comets? I think so. I think there's like something like that going on with her, but I think we're gonna have to see. It's kind of hard to hard to gauge. Do you have a theory point. on the drawing? I don't. I don't. Let's just keep trucking. Let's see what happens. Imagine how many wishes you can make with thousands of stars shooting through the sky. Well, he's Yo, this guy had some. Well, driving. Yeah, he had, he's closing. He had some fucking poetry queued up for tonight. <laughs> Victoria settles in her seat. Yeah, she's probably slipping and sliding in that thing. Yeah, she's looking for a chance to hop out. Oh, I mean, because she's so. Taken, taken with him? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Lee? Shut up. You've never heard that tone before from her. Just keep quiet until we reach. She pauses as she examines the map you threw on her lap. Pelt? Holt Station? You feel your heart pounding. Your hands are shaking. That's what she wants? For you to keep quiet? Nice gradient. Yeah, this love the animation here. It looks great. Love the, nice dithering and everything. Color. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, you it's saw all... my gradient and then raised it with dithering raise it with dither yeah it's been so like there's so many still shots and i mean that's fine like it it, it looks great but you know we look we love to see a little a little motion here you know it's a nice little, uh, little animation for you not to say a goddamn word your hands grip the wheel tight all the preparations you made for tonight your friend freddie had worked out the ideal place to see them in all their splendor away from the city lights. And when you noticed Holt Station was inside the area, you didn't hesitate. But now Vic had ruined it. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Why does this feel like something that would happen to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, go it's gonna. If it's we, making if me think of the time it. that that bird was like trying to fly into your window that one time. Absolutely. Whoa! Something hits the Mustang's antenna. Damn. What the hell is that? Stop, Lee, stop. I say stop. Yeah, we should heed. But do you Victoria. think that's true to Lee's character? Or do you think he would actually stop? Well, we're being given the choice. I think we're we get to choose who Lee is at, in this moment. So I, I'm gonna leave it up to you. You know, you make a valid point. You slam on the brakes. Instinctively, you put a hand in front of Victoria to keep her from hitting the windshield. I'm sorry, but I'm just thinking about the Seinfeld, like the the like stop short thing. I don't remember. We don't need to get into it. Uh, you get the car and find a dead bat in front of the headlights. Oh, okay. 
That's fucking uh, sad. Yeah. The animal had hit the antenna and somehow got entangled. You can't believe it. What are the odds of something like this happening? Don't bats have some advanced echolocation system, like a submarine sonar? What starts as a simple grunt in your throat emerges as a helpless scream. Fuck! This is what I get for trying to do something different. We should have gone to the movies. <laughs> we should have gone to Roy Rogers. Lee. Oh, well. Vic's whispering. Ooh. It doesn't take long to see why. Oh, fuck. There's a right. guy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my Over God. There. Get in the car, get in the car. Coyote is watching you from where the dark of the forest meets the light of the moon. Vic, we got this. Try to reason with the coyote. <laughs> yeah, do an animal empathy check. Yeah, how high is your uh, charisma? Yeah. It's not interested in us. <laughs> it looks pretty interested. You point to the dead bat. They're scavengers. You hear a growl that quickly multiplies. Ooh. Suddenly, you're surrounded. I mean, just inch your way in, right? Fuck. What do you do in that scenario? Just get in the car, right? I would go all tactical. But that's just me. Yeah, take out your Bowie knife. Take out my Bowie knife, my ta my tack flashlight. Your scope, even though they're like close. Yeah, my ACOG scope. Yeah, I'd <laughs> take a peek through that. It's not the first time you faced coyotes in the woods, but you aren't taking any chances. When I say, run to the car as fast as you can. You try to recall all the advice you've heard for situations like this. Make lots of noise, wave your arms around. One of the coyotes in front of you approaches. Yell. We got we gotta scare him off. This one, right? Yell yell at the one right yeah, in, right in front of us, yeah. This one. Or yeah, that's the right, isn't it? Yell at the Cody to your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the ones who are right. Coyote closest to you leaps forward with a savage bite? Did oh my god. Did we the right one? Did we die? Encouraged by your screams, the rest of the coyotes soon join the feet? Damn. Oh my god. Fuck. Yo, Dogwood Drive. What up? Fuck. All right, we're going to have to re-roll that one. Yeah. Oh, and now it's this I'm gonna, one. I'm, okay. I'm going to let I'm gonna let your intuition take over for this. That was my... me. Well. Now, this one's really close, so running to the car seems like we're dead meat Yeah, as they're well. going to... It's like you, we got to... The one between us and the car, we gotta like scare that one, but it's probably not gonna be productive to scare the rest of them. That one. Ooh. All right. Damn, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that that there's these kind of like failure failure states. Yeah. Um. Fuck, we gotta. Yeah, you wanna we gotta try and really, run? Like, put our heads together on this. It's yeah, sure. Matt. Yeah, see what happens. Matt, have you been in such a scenario? And what would you do? What's up, Matt? This seems right because he's like, his face is coming up as if it's like, correct. Right. Shit. 
That's weird. Okay, so... I don't know. Like, is the idea that if you yell to the coyotes that are further, like, the other ones will follow them into the woods or something? I'm not sure, but I think, don't like... Yell. I guess we that's have to maybe don't yeah don't yell just like turn to them and yeah let's try that respect do a bow respect, respect nature yeah oh you can't that's not an option so we're supposed to yell at one of the coyotes i, I guess, guess we can that's... try the others yeah like why that would not be my instinct yell at the coyote right behind you the directions are also kind of throwing me off. Yeah. Um. Because this is supposed to be like across from us. So one, like, what is to so your the, right? Behind the to one your right. Behind us to our right, I think, is the one that's kind of like in the way of us making a break for the car. So let's yell at that one. That's confusing though, because on the other side of the car. Wouldn't the other side of the car be here? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is a little confusing, but okay. I think we should just kind of like try it. Thanks. Let's let's deal with the ones on this side. Let's so do this side, and the one in the center. Let's just like get real on the one that's like approaching us wasn't that what we tried i think we tried the one on the right yeah okay 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 so the one that just approached let's you know give him a little juice too on this side to your right Is that right? This is confusing. I, I guess so. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think I think it wants us to always yell at the one in the center. Let's just like try that. Okay. I can do that. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so here. Oh, okay. So what we did worked where we like scared the one off and then I think after that we're supposed to run to the car. That actually does that make does sense? sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this side, the one in the center. <laughs> you wanted to say just like yelling at like I each... got it. I got this. Yeah, yeah, right, like, just stand there, just, like, facing down coyotes. They forever. all take their That's turns, like, one at a time. Yeah, exactly. So the one on this side, the one in the center, yell at it, and then let's make a break for the car. Cool, okay. Okay. Hi, tail it, Vic. Run to the car! <laughs> the oh! What the fuck? We're These fucked. Yodies. These yodies. I love... I love that Matt hopped in here just like, just to see us like just getting like destroyed like this. It's old style. This is a, a new game, but it's definitely got some. <laughs> it feels old, pretty much. Yeah. All right, yell, and we are going to yell on this side, right? The, the one, on, yeah, the one on the center, that works, and then we have to figure out what we do after mm -hmm. that. Right. Okay. All right, so do the one on our right. This side. I don't know if it's or the actually one on the one right. on your left. The one on your left. Yeah. The one on your left. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Again. Okay. Yell and gesture. This side. Center. Right. The one in the center. Center. Okay. No. Bad dog. Shit. You got a gun, dog? Bang on the hood. Bang on the hood. Throw Vicky at them. 
Oh Shake my Vicky. God. Okay, I think we're I think we're gaining a little bit of ground here. Yeah, this is like the most difficult. It's time to run to the car. Yeah, for sure. This is the the only it's like combat or something. This is the only real like challenge so far. They respect me. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I'm tempted um, to run, but maybe that's not it. Maybe we throw stuff. Yeah, I, it's almost like the game is goading us into like going on the offensive. So I guess let's try that. Which stone do you want to pick? This side. The one on this side. And do the one to our right because I think that's the one that's really blocking us from getting in the car. The coyote dies. Yeah, right, let's, throw, yeah, let's throw another one. Fuck it. The ones on this side, yeah. I guess... I kind of feel like it doesn't matter this time. Just like either one. Oh, they're humiliated now. Uh, let's honestly, like, I think it wants us to, like, deal with the ones on the other side, too. I don't want to take any chances. Yeah, no. I didn't actually want to. Yeah. And then we can make a break for it. It'd be cool if Lee had, like, uh, what are they called? Suicide doors? Yeah, seriously. You could just open those up and they'd probably all run off. Be like, <laughs> yeah. what? What is this technology? They'd be like, damn, this guy's swagged up. I don't yeah. want to fuck with All right. him. All right, let's, let's whip some fucking rocks at the other ones and get, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we already killed a bat. Yeah. I'm done not we're, killing. We're on, a, we're on a killing spree tonight. We're going behind hunting. You. Yeah, see, this is funny. It says behind you, so I guess, like, that's this one. The direct, yeah, the directions are confusing. I don't think it really matters which one we pick. One less to worry about. Yeah. They're actually getting their friends, and they're kind of come back with a bigger, scarier coyote. I guess I'll just... Matt, it definitely is, like, feeling so, like, cryptic all of a sudden. But, like, up to this point, it had just been very pure, like, narrative. Just kind of, like, visual novel stuff. Where... I feel like a big man now. I hope so. Run to the car! Fuck. That we was so us. harrowing. We got an achievement. They hunt in packs. It's a cool little wow. icon. Oh, yeah. Victoria's laughing at a time like this? I just killed five dogs. Victoria's so, like, feisty. Yeah, but you love that. She's, She's so willful. Bad. She needs to be broken <laughs> of her ways. <laughs> Although you know the reaction is more adrenaline than anything else, you start laughing too and then kiss her. You're covered in coyote blood and bad viscera. You start up the car and the V8 roars into life. You resume the trip. Damn, homie. They're going to make out lane. <laughs> After a few wordless minutes, you suddenly remember something. Holt, Vic. We're going to Holt's gas station. Victoria starts whistling. The doubt disappears. Everything seems a bit ridiculous now. You think about the plans you made for tonight and smile. You really like to hear her whistle. What do you think Ooh. she's whistling? Yankee Doodle? Yankee Doodle. Cool. Alright. Nicely done. Teamwork on that. Yeah. Now we know what to do when that yeah. happens. Us. Like the sort of the like internal logic of like how it wants you to approach like problems like that. Yeah, I mean in real life, yeah. but yeah, also in the game. Yeah, the tunes are sick. They're like so simple, but just like bouncy and very like nostalgic. Yeah, I like when there's little like events that happen. They've got some cool little stings. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> that smile seriously pisses you off. <laughs>
He's got a very like Kendall action guy thing going yes. on. Yes. Should we yes. tell him that it like his smile sucks? Yes. I think he needs to like hear it. <laughs> Before you can open your mouth, Lee taps you on the leg. Oh, I thought he was gonna be like, you know the sea reclines. Wait here, Vic. I swear you won't believe it. Whoa. You bite your lip and take a deep breath. You see him greet someone. Holt? Holt came out with like a bag on his head. Mm. Lee had written Holt Station on the map he'd thrown on your lap 20 minutes ago. He'd written it by hand and might as well have said Port Station or Halt Station. Hell Station even. Imagine that. Lee's handwriting has always been intriguing to you. You remember that time you mentioned it to him and he responded with a disproportionate anger. Ooh, yeah, that's a little gay to talk about. Red flag. Yeah, definitely pulpy. We gotta get Vic, Vic out of here. We gotta get her away from I this know. guy. A nonsensical rant which involves several philosophers of language. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I bet he goes to, like, Civil War reenactments and, like... Fuck, yeah, this guy's reading fucking the Red Badge of Courage. And <laughs> he's like, he's I was born like, the wrong time. Oh, yeah, I'm about to drop some fucking philosophy right now. Like, yeah, okay, dude. When he says philosophy, he means Jordan Peterson. Yeah, he's probably, like, um, if we look at his posts on Reddit, there's probably, like, a Ken Bone thing happening. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And all because you told him his handwriting was dreadful. Oh, that's why he got mad. That's even funnier. But you know, you now know where those reactions come from. That night, you two got drunk by the lake. Lee told you that his father would have wanted to be born ugly. After the initial surprise, you couldn't stifle a belly laugh, and Lee looked down. For a few minutes, he didn't want to tell you anything else. He finally convinced him to continue. I always got what I wanted just by smiling. Ugly people have to develop other muscles. This is the ultimate pain. Unfortunately, those other muscles are the ones that last. Damn, dude. It's like you have enough, like, self-awareness to realize that. Were you reading? Were you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think these. I think Lee and Vic are. I don't. I don't. They're, I think Vic toast. knows better. They're fucking toast. She laughed at him. No, Vic is like. Don't. That's not fair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's well, let's keep don't rolling. Don't define her for just for settling. Okay. You couldn't believe those words had come out of the mouth of a flesh and blood human being. Yeah, she's literally like, listen to this freak. Maybe some poorly written character from a cheap romantic novel, but Lee's father? You picture Lee that night, throwing pebbles from the shore while telling you everything about his father's teachings? All that frustration. Was that the night you got pregnant? Uh oh. You'd both been drinking. How old do you think they are? Cause like you could tell me that they're like high school sweethearts. It's like it's weird. It's like they're supposed to be like in high school, oh, but wait, like they went to college of, together. It, okay, yeah. I was gonna say it kind of seems like they're like older. Yeah. But almost just kind of like they're like Arrested Development. Like they're exactly yes. In high school. Arre absolutely. Suddenly you find it difficult to breathe. Yeah, I know this type. Saw him coming. Two hotties. Seen it all before. The interior of the car feels like it's getting smaller and smaller. You need some air. Ooh-wee. Does she dare speak when the men are talking? I think so. Holt, right? Holt seems startled. Hello. This is Victoria, my girlfriend. Be right back, Vic. Later. See them walk away with a box I took out of the trunk. And from the effort Holt's putting in, it seems heavy. What's inside the box? Yo, they're like in the same Civil War club. Totally, totally. 
in an in like a slightly different world, they would be like like Mark Corrigan's almost or something, you know. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. You're not. I stupid. gotta. Huh? I gotta. I gotta hop for like one second. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. Okay. I. Okay. Uh, it's all you. It's all you for like twenty seconds. I have a ten minute break slide, but I don't have a one second hop slide. And I can't keep playing because Francis has to hear what happens. Matt, how's the bear? Francis said you were watching the bear. I really like Iowa Debris. She's like a an improviser. Uh She's like the only person I know from that show, I think, but she's really funny. Oh, thank you! I'm still learning some stuff, but Streamlabs makes it a lot easier to like set stuff up. And my friend Taylor did some of the art, like little ghosties and whatnot. Oh my god, yeah. I heard that the bear has like a... like one episode filmed like all the way through as like one shot which uh I really want to watch I don't know if I'd watch the whole season I'm really bad about like sticking to TV shows but you good? Do you wanna, yeah do you want to like recap me? oh I haven't been playing okay what if the moth shows up? ooh yeah I'm I'm feeling like the moth is gonna have to show up soon. Yeah, I think Kinda we're gonna try we're and at. summon the moth during the comet storm. Mm. Okay, yeah, we gotta watch the bear. I feel like having yeah, worked in it, like the food industry, like you kind of, it's gonna be a little triggering. But wait, have you worked in the food industry? I I haven't. Food service? I haven't, I've worked in food service, but I haven't worked in like a kitchen like that. I feel like I get it though, or something. Yeah. Like I, that sounds like kind of dumb to say, but I can tell how like people are like really excited about that kind of like relatively straight up depiction of like what that's like. Yeah. And I, I watched like most of the first episode and I liked it. You know, I, I, I gotta, I gotta go back to that for sure. Totally. It has that kind of same, like, stressful, like, people talking over each other shit that, like, the Safety brothers do, mm -hmm. like, in Uncut Gems and stuff. I feel like they're definitely kind of trying to, like, ape that style a little bit. And it seems like they're, like, doing a good job of it. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I feel like broadly, too, it's just sort of nice to see, like, an actually realistic, like, portrayal of, like, what it's like to be a worker and, like, the unreasonable things you're, like, asked to do. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I was a barista for a while in like a pretty chill cafe and it was still like yeah. stressful as fuck. Matt Matt worked at Mike's Deli. Mike's Deli. Matt and Dan both worked at their at their dad's deli. I think I told you about that. Oh yeah yeah. What did absolutely. you get like a special sandwich there or something? Uh there were some special sandwiches. I had many a sandwich uh from Mike's. And, um, yeah, I thought you told me a story about it. Absol absolutely the most swagged up standout deli oh my in, the tri -town, in the Tri-Town area. Is it still doing its thing? I, I, <laughs> the beef of Rentham, yeah, absolutely. Isn't oh it, God. isn't your dad planning on like selling it, Matt? Isn't it kind of like, seems like hard work. It? Oh, absolutely. Keeping that stuff running. I would love to to try that beef someday. Damn, good for your dad. Yeah, good for Mike, man. It's time for Mike to just fucking chill and just like just have a good time. Sounds like a legacy. Fucking put blood, sweat, and tears into that thing, you know. Damn. So, uh, is the Mothman coming to kill us right now? Well, let's see. Vic has some feelings. 
Uh, she knows that Lee has some business on the side beyond his work as an intern. Okay, work as an intern? Um, it's a little contradictory. You heard some rumors and you have your suspicions. Mm. However, you never did much digging. You prefer to keep it as a mystery, something to make Lee a little more interesting. You light a cigarette. That's always good when you have to, like, choose to, like, learn less about someone because you want them to be intriguing. <laughs> and you like it better as a secret. Mm hmm Would they be a good father? Vic, I wish you would call me because I will tell you now. And the question I mean, that I, you still haven't had the If yet. a coyote attacked their children, I think he could have kind of a, sh a shining moment. Yeah. That. Yeah, he'd have to like, he'd like lose her trust and have to like orchestrate a scenario where they were surrounded by coyotes just so he could like earn respect back. <laughs> yeah. He's like, Vic, look, and then the baby is like in the street surrounded by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like engineering his own like hero arc or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I'm actually do you want? Do you want me to to read for a little while? Yeah. Why don't you Why don't you read a few more lines? I'm gonna take a big, big honk off this jewel, and then I'll I'll hop in. Ooh, yeah. All right, it's How's party time. time. Okay. Would you be a good mother? Oh yeah. The clicks repeat at irregular intervals. This sounds like a turgid harrier, original. I'm a, I'm a those little tweets. Small we got in tr uh. we got in in trouble one time almost with like the music that I did for one of the one of the game jams that we did. Uh, I tried to add this almost sort of like tinnitus effect into the music because it's like you're, you're in like a cave and there's really not like a lot of ambient sound and the music was like very subdued and and like relaxed. And I wanted to create this like sense of isolation, and so I put these really high pitched, like almost like tinnitus, little whispers into the music, and like in like all of the reviews and the comments, people were like, "What the fuck is up with the music in this?" Uh... Like, I, like it's like I feel like I'm, <clears throat> I feel like my head's exploding. I feel like I'm like going crazy <laughs> or something, and it was, it everyone's was no a good. Critic. Yeah, everyone's a fucking critic. Wait, let me try so. something. What was the game? Uh, that was Lower Lower. That was this kind of like cave exploration game we did where you're kind of like rappelling down surfaces and tossing like flares around and stuff. Um, I guess quick shout out, if you go to Boko Yas, uh, Itch, all of our games are up there. And uh, there's a few, there's a lot of fun ones in there actually, if you want to check those out. I can drop a link in the description, uh, as podcasters do, uh, and I can also take over reading, Rachel, if you're okay. doing that. Really quick, um, what do you think of? I have two palettes to compare. I got this one. It might be too much green. Actually, yeah, I'm choosing this one. Never mind. Um, dark. I go do the other one. I like I like the darker one. I like the kind of red one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I like that. The ghosts match the uh, the color palette of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, I love I love that it's just all like greens and blues in this game. It's like really cool. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you say you want to take over? Yep. Yep. One sec. Okay. Small moths approach the light to get electrocuted. Is that love, Victoria? Yeah, we got a philosopher couple right here. Yeah, we got a little soul searching going on. You laugh and shake your head from side to side. You think of all the manuscripts you've torn. You've tried poetry, drawing. History seemed like an obvious choice don't need any talent to be a historian. Yeah, don't try to tell that to Mark Corrigan. 
He's your ultimate like historian reference. He is, yeah. Just when I think of like a World War II guy. Oh yeah, sure. That's just that's just him, man. We got Hello? a little peeker. Whoa. The man talks to himself while holding something in his hand. All right, if you like mystery, get with this guy. Lose a zero and get with a hero. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that's all you need to say. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. He's like, you want to lose that dead weight I saw you with? <laughs> all right, he talks yeah. to himself while holding something in his hand. This guy's on some sigma shit. I feel like Lee, Lee is alpha, but Lou is sigma, and that's a really important development, I think, for Victoria mm -hmm. right now. Have you seen any winged creatures flying over the area yet? <laughs> For a moment, you think he's asking some kind of tricky question, and you remain silent. Yeah, he's about to say, like, because I feel like you fell from heaven or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. However, something about him tells you that he's genuinely asking. He's going to be like, who let you out of the cocoon? Matt saying hey, this guy's FBI. Like this guy's like a fucking cop. He's about to drop it, yeah. You look at the man bathed in the shine of the street light and the scene fascinates you. Yeah, this guy recently joined the DSA and he's like Yeah, he's like honey honey trapping yeah. the DSA like right now. <laughs> he's got multiple active shooters on retainer. Yeah. He's got a Twitter with three followers. You look at the man bathed in the shine of the streetlight, and the scene fascinates you. Surreal, some of your old friends would have said. The ones that organized poetry nights and read La Chremont. Excuse me, you are... Oh, yes, sorry. Hill. Lou Hill. Writer. <laughs> Oh my like god, this guy's face. this guy's definitely on Twitter. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a writer. Yeah, he's a whiskey guy. Yeah. Victoria Greenberry. Come on with that last name. History student. Man, they're fucking hitting it off, honestly. Wing creatures, Mr. Hill. Lou, please. Can I call you Victoria? You nod. I'm looking into about a dozen reports, Victoria. Numerous witnesses claim to have seen human-sized winged creatures flying over the area. Angels? Lou smiles, but the smile doesn't last long on his face. Whoa. Look there. At the top of the trees. Okay, first of all, this gesture is insane. I fucking love yeah. this guy. Yeah. He's doing he's, he's like, doing like a he's doing like a blood or like crip like gang sign almost. <laughs> <laughs> it won't take you long to find one. You aim at the area Lou just told you. Everything's blurry, so you decide to adjust the binoculars. Oh fuck! I'm seeing some red that's really scaring me. Totally. I don't like that. I don't like that red I'm seeing. Uh, let's let's adjust the diopter, and then we can circle back to the focusing wheel. Yeah, oh I'm God. about to get re I'm about to get real optical on everyone. This is gonna be hard for me because we went on a bird walk a few months ago. Oh yeah. Are you having like bird walk trauma flashback? Yeah, I'm having binocular flashback for sure. Yeah binocular problems uh okay what do you think so teach me is this the one that we want to use as like the one that we're trying for or something or what when i heck? when i was when i was like oh yeah we're about to do some optic shit i was completely fronting i have no fucking idea i don't oh, know how okay. binoculars work <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> okay all right so it's gonna be trial and error just like the coyotes no, that's not what we want. We want right. Yeah. 
I think we want to match the images. Yeah. And then I guess Ooh we can circle wee. back to the focus. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit. Let's hit the focus. You got it. Ah shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that focused? Move it left. Like. I think that's like back for focus. There is occasionally red. They use it sparingly. Yeah, the palette is so cool. It's like all like greens and blues and blacks, and then they like only use red to like scare you and to be like something fucked up is happening right oh now. Oh my god, he's turning into a mouth. Fuck. Okay, it's it's time. It's it's the Mothman moment. Okay. This is the most swagged up. Can I can I so can far. I can I read Victoria? Yeah. What the? <laughs> All right. I knew it was going to be some, so that just happened. Shit. Ooh, that's nice. It was just a second, but you think you saw something up there. I love her white. White eyebrows and white hair. Yeah, yeah. Was it suggestion? He hypnotized your ass. I don't think they're angels, Victoria. But before I tell you my theory, I need your help. Could you draw in this notebook what you just saw? Drawing challenge. This guy's on some like, could you draw what you tactically ascertain of the <laughs> witness and the situation? This guy's seriously got those cop vibes at any other time you'd have refused with some witty comment but there's something about Lou Hill that invites you to play on you wonder if the fact that he presented himself as a writer had something to do with it it definitely did let's face it let's let's well let's leave this to you Rachel this is, uh... I think Matt had the right idea, which is to be suspicious when he reached into his coat. <laughs> yeah, it's like at that point you should have pulled out pulled out the strap and yeah. <laughs> when I draw, I start with the head, but that's just me. Oh shit! Okay, so this is what we learn about, um, like first-hand what's it called first-hand witnesses it's like so unreliable um but what i'm gonna right. say i think it was either little owl head or alien like head here we go alien yes wait let's just so let's compare I think, babe, yeah, I think this it. is another kind of like puzzle. Like, I feel like it, it's, it's giving us the opportunity here to make like the wrong choice. I know, but I feel you good know about what I mean? it because so, we can go back. Yeah, no, that, that, that looks good. That's, I nope. think like what we were dealing with. Yeah. Victoria, what are you thinking? He's just like watching being like, oh, great. <laughs> I asked like a woman in crisis who like doesn't know her. She's like a wannabe author, artist. Yeah. No, no, no. He's like, it's not that deep, dude. Okay. That's fucking cool, but was that correct? Wait. Those look the same, do they not? Yeah, they all look the same. What the fuck? No, the last one... Chicken wings. Dude, try chicken wings. Okay, so the only difference is the wings. Alright, let me look. Chicken wings. Yeah, I think you're right. Is that right? It's like Maybe his not. wings weren't out. Yeah, they weren't out. The ones, the one that you did before, the the last one before this, I think was the most accurate. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's like. Mm. I mean, that looks like. It that's should. like what I would expect the Mothman to look like. Yeah, like what's gonna happen if we get it wrong? 
That might be when he like ices us. That's that's what I'm scared of because the thing with the coyotes felt so like punishing. He's gonna be like, I thought you'd be more useful, and then he'd have like a silencer. Yeah. I thought I thought you, I thought you could have been I thought you could have been one of my history baddies, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah. yeah, my ethereal bisexual. Wow, look at that bow-legged chungus. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny too. That's it. That's, that's what it. I look that's like. It. That's like my body dysmorphia. <laughs> are you sure this is it? I think those legs are definitely it. The legs and the head, I think, are like... He really just looks like a guy. Yeah. Before giving it back, you write some notes further describing what you saw. Lou had an S for them, but somehow they make you feel less anxious. You never felt confident about your work. He's like, alright, calm down, dude. Ooh, but Lou makes you feel special about it. Lou looks at the notebook for a few seconds. Yeah, he's like, feel too long. Will you sign this? Is it okay if I frame it? <laughs> you think about that time you showed your sketches to your art teacher and how he embarrassed you in front of the rest of the class. Motherfucker. What? Sorry. I was talking to myself. Dude, Victoria. Like, there is more to be thinking about right now. You can't help but blush. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Victoria! <laughs> Are you drunk again? For, for once, you're glad to hear Lee's voice. All good. Although he seems to be talking to you, Lee keeps staring at Lou. He's Ooh, I want, up. I want, yeah, I want like a Lee and Lou, like Lee times Lou, sort of like, uh, like a ship or something, you know, like a. Oh. Club. So you're angling for a. I'm a, yeah, I'm angling for a Lee and Lou situation where Victoria gets kind of kind of bunted uh, <laughs> off to the, off to the side there. Yeah. yeah. That would be, I, can, I guess I could see that. They all Blue need a little eleven. Yeah, exactly. It's Writer. Like you, if you're... If, if you're like you getting laid, you're not out here doing this shit. Exactly. And if you're introducing yourself to me as a writer, I'm, I'm like reaching for my concealed carry. Honestly. I'm not comfortable. Lou holds out his hand. All right, I am thinking fanfic vibes now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lee Miller, historian. Lou's like, Vicky, you didn't tell me. Your man was a historian, but like not making eye contact with Vicky. <laughs> Lee walks over and puts his arms around you, his back to Lou. You know he must have been annoyed that Lou introduced himself as a writer. Okay, okay, so that's that's accurate. Absolutely. <laughs> Although it's hard for you to admit it, you like to be hugged. Jesus Christ. That is cringe, dude. Don't ever tell anyone that. Don't ever. T I can't abide the narrator fucking telling anyone that. <laughs> Play Disco Elysium. You feel <laughs> safe. You think you would also feel safe in your grandmother's arms or in the arms of any of the other strong women in your family. Is that a DC thing where you're like, I guess, yeah, I imagine it's like, mad, it makes me think of Mad Men, how people are like, an author. But the heat of Lee's body, the hardness of his muscles. Let's face it, this is pulp. This is pulp. So you can be mad about it. You can say, okay, what the fuck? But that's pulp, baby. I mean, I would be reading this by the that's, beach. Yeah. With my that's little sun hat fan in my face. Yeah, absolutely. Take, like, take no, me for, I don't want to swim. Take me for a pulpy ride. I don't, <laughs> I don't want, I, I don't want to get in the water. Yeah. Let me forget about my family. 
<laughs> you remember all those biologicist arguments you hate so much. Can't help but smile. It's like you're cheating when nobody's looking. Come on, Vic. Let's see the surprise. Close your eyes. I'm closed. Don't, don't don't close your eyes. Why? Okay. No. Okay. Okay. This is you. That'd this be is so you. weird. I yeah. I know. It, it it'd be fun. Like, what does she look like? She just like stares right ahead and like. I'm try I'm trying to engineer like a Nathan Fielder situation here. <laughs> you close your eyes and let Lee guide you. Now open them. I love that fucking shit-eating grin he's yeah. got going. Yeah, he's perfect, so but proud. This is, like, military haircut. Yeah, he's so proud. Ooh. So, what do you think? We got a little doggy. A romantic dinner for two, under the same meteor shower that amazed our ancestors. You instinctively put your hand to your belly. And when you realize it, you quickly put it in your pocket. You look at the dog tied to the post. What? Dog growls into the dark. That's a nice noise. Yeah, no, that's that's some nice sound design right there. Very clearly communicating that there's a problem. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I actually, I really like that, like, sound. That kind of, like, ominous, like, gurgle. That the that dog the, made? That, well, that, it, it was, we yeah, that the dog made. It was this cool thing where, like, you've got this kind of, like, old school, like, gurgle noise that the text makes, kind of, as it displays or whatever. And, like, the text for, like, that scene, almost, like, the sound just, like, turned into that right. kind of, like, scary, scary gurgle at the end, which is nice. Yeah. I, I do want to say the, um, I think it's, it's hard to find a nice sort of text gurgle sound that like sounds good for a game like this and i i do really like the sound in this one it's it's like a nice uh it's like chunky uh but it doesn't like go overpower anything else it's nice it reminds so. me of um like whenever your bop it would like run out of batteries yeah yeah no absolutely it's like the sound of failure yeah it's the sound it's the sound of like electronic failure all right let's see what holds up to You wanna hop on hop on the narrator for a bit? I'll do it. You've known Lou Hill for a few months now. The first time you talked to him was at the Moose. Lou was looking for information about some unusual lights in the sky. Nobody would talk to him. Before going to the restroom, you went over to his table and suggested he buy his people a drink first. Okay, I love Holt. When you got back, Lou was already talking to Rick and Stella, the tongue sufficiently loosened. Lou raised his glass in your direction and smiled. Damn, he's got chemistry with everyone. Yeah. Although it wasn't you who gave him the nickname, you still feel a little guilty. Since that night, Lou? most lo Huh? No, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, most locals refer to him as Lou Refill Hill. What do you recall about the encounter with these men in black? You smile. What does he mean? It had only been a week. You think about how to answer. You know, Lou, he loves asking questions. So you're going to tell him one thing and one thing only. No follow-up questions. Oof. <laughs> I want Important. to say the card thing. That was my favorite detail. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, the card, I think the card, the men in black, that was like the most like fucked up shit that's happened yet, I think. It was just bad, like, 
What's it called when it's like bad ASMR? It's like the concept of like a bad miracle, but applied yeah. to ASMR. Yeah. That was it's a one sound of my that, favorite. It's... Me too. Me too. I love that. I've been thinking about that. I was texting with my brother earlier because he, he just saw it. I liked it too. Nope. You gotta say it was nope. Yeah. Shout out to Nope. Shout out to Jordan Peele. He's done it again. Maybe you've heard of him. Maybe you've heard of him. Folks, I gotta say, Jordan Peele's Nope is going to be a yep from me, fam. I'm about to turn your camera off. <laughs> Go see it. It was good. Uh, I, have... I was going to do a bit where I said, you guys, this Jordan Peele guy, he's going viral again. He's going viral once again for another one of his twisted creations. And we're here for it. <laughs> and it's giving me life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got the the legendary triad of three perfect movies. Absolutely. The only one to do it. Only now one. and forever. Although I uh, gotta say, um, fuck, I'm blanking here. Midsommar, Hereditary, my man, forget his name. Give him Ari one Aster. more. Ari Aster, give him one more chance. Give him one more chance. I think he could. I think he could get up there. He's on a. He's on a good trajectory. Well, yeah. Didn't he have? Yeah. Yeah. If he if he has any anything else, we're not counting it. Nothing. Nothing like in the same ballpark. Yeah. Exactly. Um. You do have the Vavitch guy, the Vavitch, the lighthouse. That's and yeah. No, absolutely. I feel like I'm the glad. Northman. It's yeah, it, it's, it's tough because the Northman it's the Northman like isn't really like a horror movie the way that the lighthouse and, and the witch are. Um, yeah. But Rachel didn't like the Northman quite as much as I did. There um, was I mean I liked a lot about it. Yeah. I liked the um you know what I wish the whole movie was? No, two what? things. What? I wish that it was um Willem Dafoe being like, I am the crazy gesture, but also the wizard. Oh, three things. Bjork. Just sort of period. More of her doing her thing. Maybe have yeah, some powers. More, more Bjork. More Bjork. And then um, the part where he had to... I forget exactly what the scenario was, but there was some kind of skeleton. Maybe it was like a skeleton king that he had to fight. Oh, when he and fought the Draugr of, in the crypt. Yeah, there was some yeah, sort of like yeah. trippy, like meta thing that happened that was really like. It was interesting like interesting and impressive and like mythical. Feeling. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And like that's and, the and shit that, that I like. People were like freaked out by that too because it was this very explicit like, is this a vision or did this happen? And I feel like the way he presents it is kind of just ah uh, like. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It kind of, yeah. it kind of could be either, but just that sort of like lack of like resolution or like what's what the fuck is happening. Uh, I don't know. I That's... talked to some other people about it who were kind of like, yeah, what the fuck was going on with that? And it's like, uh, it it doesn't. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I think I don't, that know, there how, I don't know how much like, it matters. There should have been more of that in the movie. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was definitely at its strongest when it was like engaging with those like visions and the sort of like mystical shit and that kind of blurring of like reality. Yeah. You yeah. Know? That's why I think like I did like the Green Knight better because all the way through it was consistent with its like this is a legend. Yeah. Absolutely. Like I would I would put those in the same camp. Like they're kind of doing something with like fantasy that like no one else is right now or something i really yeah. like that. no the valkyrie did have braces the valkyrie had fucking yeah. braces more people need to be talking about that that was like crazy also okay if we're doing this this is fucked this is like crazy but i need to admit that when i was watching the northmen I was like really confused and i thought that anna taylor joy was bjork 
And I was like, oh my God, Bjork is oh fucking crazy in this. She's all over this shit. And then like afterwards, I realized like, oh no, that's like someone else. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so, I'm so fucking embarrassed to admit that, but here we are. Like so. to think that Bjork was blonde. I know. I know. It's like, well, blonde. She's she's Bjork. She's blonde. She's not. She's all over the place. She's anything. You know, it's Bjork. Like I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm toast. I'm toast for that one. She used to be blonde. She definitely used to be in the nineties. Yeah, back when she was doing her like Apex twin shit. I don't know. You're still in trouble though. No, she's kind of more of a redhead, honestly. She had like a vitamin C thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I did think it was like a little bit funny whenever they went to Valkyrie because it was so abrupt and then it just ended. It was like, I'm going yeah. to happen now. I mean, it was fucking cool. Also, I think the tree looked kind of janky. That's the last thing I'll say. The tree looked silly. It looked like a desktop it like it screensaver. It did look a little silly. I think they dumped a lot of the budget into making the actual, like, real set stuff and, like, the actual, like, props and set pieces, like, as good as they could possibly be with the budget they had. And then it kind of felt like some of the CGI shit they just kind of, like, scraped together. Yeah. <laughs> Which, like, I don't know. I guess that's a decision... It was like stuck. Robert Robert Eggers made and was like, this is kind of what it's going to have to be to like get this movie made. They got like a stock you know? animation of like a DNA. Yeah, straight. totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the, the fucking cartoon in Jurassic Park almost yeah. or something. That's so uncharitable for me to say, but definitely no, like almost the same. think about how much that movie costs. Same, same ballpark. Uh, yeah. Okay. We got to go through this chap. It. Yeah, let's hit it. One of the men in black bit a card and told me not to tell anyone about their visit. Lou listens carefully. He seems to hesitate and you seize the opportunity to change the subject. You know, otherwise he'd keep asking you about the encounter all night. Red or black? What? The card. Red. You turn over the card. It's red. Good. It's the solitaire my grandma taught me. No one could ever win it. Okay, so this is like a special type of solitaire that I like don't recognize. That's why it's hard. It's a type of solitaire that you can't just learn from the computer. It's like you have to learn it from your grandmother. Totally. Yeah. I do, for real though, I do want to learn some card games. I met someone on Bumble who was like, oh yeah, I love to play old card games. We could do it sometime. And I was like, Hey, can we play cards? And they were like, oh, I'm moving. And I was like, fuck. We can we can play like Go Fish or something if that'll... I'm not talking about Go Fish. If that'll fucking make you happy. And how do you play it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna explain it. What kind of friend would I be? Rules are simple. But winning? There's a reason why it's called the impossible solitaire. <laughs> Do you think his grandma was like trolling him? It's Churchill Solitaire. Totally possible, yeah. I one time someone taught me a version of Solitaire that was really fast. And she was telling me the directions like too fast for me to keep up, but it seemed like it was almost like I can't remember how it worked. Oh, here we go, okay. We're about to learn. We're about to go to school. The objective is to move every card from the board to the discard pile. You can move any card whose rank is one higher or one lower than the topmost card in the discard pile. Okay, so far, pretty familiar. So let's say there's a five in the discard pile. You can either place a four or a six on top of it. And remember that if there's a K in the discard pile, you can place an A. Do you know what, do you know what a K is? A king? Yeah. K, Q, J, A. Yeah, we called it a K-hole. K-hole, yeah, those are the big suits. K-hole, A-hole. A comes after yeah. K, and the opposite is also true. Damn. So he's playing it both ways. So, 28 cards to move. Seems easy enough, right?
Okay, am I still stacking these? Select a card. Wait, so like in regular solitaire, like you're stacking, you're making like... Stacks. So can I move the any of these first? Can I move the two over to the face? No. So I can't move these. You're gonna have to carry us through this, babe, because like I said, I don't fucking know how to play solitaire. Okay, so I can't... Does this make sense? Okay. This is kind of uh, breaking my brain. I'm not very good at learning new directions like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game so far, but I would sort of gently have suggested that instead of selecting text options to move the cursor left it. and right, that you should be able to just like move the cursor left and right yeah. using like the arrow keys or something like that. Sort of an interface for this, I think, would have would have made a big difference. So I guess I'm not supposed to do anything with like these cards. So I guess. Oh shit! This solitaire has bedding. Oh man, I don't think I would have made that move if that's what I knew it was going to be. Is this a callback to the like pick pick red pick? Black, like yeah, I think beginning. probably. Yeah. That's what the stakes are. So what did we have more of at the beginning? I think Lose we had more black, right? And you lose the game. Son of a bitch is almost unwinnable. <laughs> Alright, wait, let's try one more time. I don't understand this, but I want to. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what I want to do... Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's like this. Okay. Okay, now we're jamming. Oops. Okay, alright, alright. I get it. It's, like, backwards. Mm. Um, okay. No aces. Okay, that's why it's hard because you're only using one card. Um, or can you? Does it depend on color? Can I just do an ace? Let's see. Oops, the card. Wait, what? Did I select the ace? Oh, it has to be one different. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. This is the last one. So we, we can leave, right? Like it yeah. just doesn't... Yeah, but now that okay. I kind of get it, I want to try one more time. Okay. I love a mini game. So sue me. Yeah, we love a mini game. Oh, look, this is the bite. So I guess, like, if you were really strategic, you could decide whether you wanted to go lower or higher first so that you could get rid of as many cards as possible, but I cannot think that far ahead. So. All right, so color doesn't matter. He... Oh, but I guess he can get open down too. Are you having fun? Um, I have been having fun, but I'm starting to get like scared by, by the card game almost. <laughs> You're in good hands, I know what I'm doing. I do yeah. have a lot of, I keep getting a lot of aces. Let's see. If I go ace, I won't be able to go back down. But if I go queen, I won't be able to go... Okay, I'll do queen and then I can do jack. We got a five!
This is where I'm gonna lose. It's like everything falls apart when you have to bet. Matt says queen, then the busted jack. We got yeah, we got the jack. Okay. But now we're stuck. Oh wait. Nine. Holy shit. Looks like seven? Hmm. Seven, eight, nine, like they say. Got this. <laughs> what are you putting it on? Matt, any thoughts? What are we what are we putting it on? Hmm. Red. Bazinga. That is such a dumb rule. Fuck, fuck solitaire. I fucking hate solitaire. I mean, this is like Elsie's fucked up brain solitaire. Yeah. Maybe it's like... Maybe we're not supposed to win. <laughs> maybe this is just... Um, maybe not, yeah. No, maybe they're just like button our heads against the wall driving us crazy. Yeah, we're supposed to feel Holt's pain, and trust me, I do. Yeah. Lou's just been staring like, Jesus, man. Like, you don't have to follow that rule. You hear barking from the back of the station. It's Trent. Who's Trent? The dog? Yeah, that's a funny name for a dog. A dog named Trent? When they brought him in, they told me his name was Chase. Fuck it, it's Trent for me. You know Trent, right? From the moose? Tall, prominent belly, and a scar parallels the growth of his beard. That's normal, Lou. That's normal to say it that way about a guy. That's how you describe your friends. You laugh heartily. Lou Hill might be a bit of a pain in the ass, but no one could deny that he was good with descriptions. Think about the book he's given you. He signed it and everything. Where did you leave it? I call him Trent because he barks like a Trent on Open Mic Tuesdays. Oh, he barks like Trent on Open Mic Tuesdays, so I guess... Yeah, on Open Mic Tuesdays uh, in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <Okay. laughs> Sorry, everyone. The city yeah, of we Open got Mics. Yeah, it sounds like we got a couple NYU comedians here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Trent. I'm sure you'll agree. What's the David Dynan thing? Is that his name? I'm I'm Team Trent. Uh, that he's a millennial. That he's like 45 and he's a millennial. Is oh it? no, now well his his I think his iconic joke is like, well my mom is. Indian, but my dad is I know that. Japanese. Yeah, that whole thing. But I was yeah. trying to say um, the thing he says about like being a millennial and see the machine gun. Let's go check out. When you see when someone's bottom face, like bottom half of their face is like that, they're like gritting their teeth and mm -hmm. their eyes are like shrouded and they want to go show you their gun. Yeah. I wonder if we can save. Do you think it auto saves? It it better. Do you wanna um, what do you think? You wanna like 
do a little do a little more Victoria and then maybe call it for the night. Yeah. Pick it back up. Okay. Yeah, that one was quick. Maybe this one might be too. Let's see the menu. Save. Oh save. my god. Save. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's manual save and we have not saved yet. That's like so that that make that makes my ball like my stomach just fucking drop, dude. Your your mic uh, muted out. Did you say what about your balls? Uh, that they dropped. That my stomach dropped when I yeah. kind of realized realized what the save situation looked Same, like. That honestly. is so fucking. I can't. I can't deal with that fucking feeling. It doesn't seem like it would because it's so linear. It's like, wouldn't I would have assumed that it was just saving for each like. <laughs> Yeah, auto auto save though. I feel like I I don't actually see auto save in a lot of like indie games. Like it's kind of they're kind of relying on you to fucking figure out the save system and do it manually. Yeah, now you're All like, right. nah, it's actually not a big deal, and I thought it would be like that. I would fucking I don't know what the fuck I would do if like the game like glitched out right now and then we had to like start over from the beginning. That would It'd be, be funny to speed run. Looking at shooting stars it while could, holding your hand. Could be. Telling you his plans for the end of the semester? Chad, what is this? His name is Chad now. You can't stop thinking about the raw strength of the hug from a minute ago. Or how he scared the coyotes away by yelling and throwing stones at them. You think about your friend May, all those dark fantasies she told you about. Oh my god. The holding hands like this? Smiling and talking and looking into each other's eyes? Feels like giving up, doesn't it? That's bleak. You know you're... You know you're to blame, too. Aren't you playing the perfect girlfriend role? Don't you make eyes at him? Don't you say love whenever you call him? So is this it, Victoria? Is this what you want for the rest of your life? Why don't you make up your mind just for once? You think of May again, of who's, of those women she claimed to know who could solve your situation using a coat hanger. Okay. You wouldn't be the first or the last. Ooh. The dog barks like a maniac and you appreciate the destruction. You want a freestyle? Um, dog barks like a maniac. I appreciate the distraction. Um, what can I say about that? Well, I can say I appreciate the distraction. That's my freestyle. Do you like that? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Thanks. A mixture of guilt, anguish, and apathy takes over you. And now what? Why is he looking at you like that? It's like he didn't react to this, like, rabid dog barking like a freak. He's just, like, trying to hit. Like, he's so, like, he's so wrapped up in his fucking... Just, like, gotta get it shit that... There's, like, demon dogs, like... <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I think Lee Lee needs to like take a step back from all this or something. I think he needs to like, yeah, you know what? I'll say it. I think Lee needs to go to therapy. <sighs> he needs to play a round of Impossible Solitaire. Yeah. Every yeah. every boy born hot, who has everything handed to him, just getting him get him in a room with Holt, play a round of that shit. Yeah, absolutely. It's like you can't you can ride that like shit pretty straight. far, but you can't ride it all the way. At some at some point, you're going to have to fucking buckle down. You're going to actually have to learn how to read when you're like 25 and you're going to have to like learn how to play fucking solitaire or something. You know. Check out the chat. I think you like that one. That's a Turgid Harrier. Vibe right there. I can yeah, absolutely. Why does like he literally they will they literally will but the thing is like mothmen are real and therapy isn't so 
Yeah. What? Mothmen are real and therapy isn't. Oh yeah, sort of like the Tom Cruise approach. Have you ever heard of Ritalin? Do you even know what that is? All that stuff. Yeah. Totally. What'd you say, bitch? I said if you're excited about the doors. Oh my god. Uh, here we fucking go. We're about to do the like the apocalypse now thing, like fifty years late. Of course you are excited. The doors, Victoria. Yeah, I bet he thinks uh, Jim Morrison is really fucking cool. Freddie told me they're about to release their first album, and it seems they'll be playing in New York. Why does he talk like this? He because it's 1966. Robot, He's a robo. Everybody talked like this in 1966. Okay, stop yelling at me, first of all. Okay, I'm sorry. Are we going to see them live again, then? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go visit the Lizard King. Oh Damn. shit. Fuck. This is the baby between them. It's like I when we sat down to play this game, I was ready to deal with the Mothman, but like I wasn't ready to deal with the fucking werewolf on the side. I don't know if I can handle that. Even though you try, you gradually stop listening to him. Hesitancy returns and all those questions. And the fucking dog won't stop barking. What had been a distraction now is driving you crazy. What the hell is wrong with him? Do you ever think that airplanes in the night sky In the night are, sky can be like shooting stars? Can or be like shooting stars. And I could really use a witch right now. I literally I think that every day, first thing when I wake up. And I and I wanna text it to you, but I'm afraid to. Damn. You're right not to. <laughs> Shooting fucking stars. Just what I needed. Why don't you make a wish, Victoria? Oh, I thought that was sarcasm. How about going home? Oh, maybe I don't think it was. this guy's fucking capable of sarcasm, honestly. No, this is Victoria talking. Oh, fuck. Okay. She, well, she definitely is capable of it, so I'm just totally off base here. How about going home, covering your head with a pillow, and sleeping for 18 hours straight? You feel like crying and try to calm down. Yes. Matt r pointed out these, like, panel, like, triptychs that they do, and I fucking love that. Yeah, me too. We look at those red eyes. Something, something bad is afoot. She's called when by the... You're red. She's called by the glow mm. of her yeah. main man. Those I eyes. mean, whom's, to, whom's to amongst us? Amen. I mean, the way that they're... That creature you thought you saw in the treetops with blue binoculars. Mm. Had it been real? Not just your imagination? <laughs> yeah. The doors. Another hey. beautiful triptych. Yeah, completely. Keep it keep it coming. You know what? I'm tired of it yeah. already. Exhausted. Yeah. Diptychs, triptychs, polyptychs. Yeah, that's just another one of the many things I learned about in art school, so Damn. Those things comes in threes? Damn. It comes in twos, threes, all all denominations. I've been trying and trying for more than ten minutes. Can you tell me what's wrong with you? You stay silent. You need to think. But Lee's right. It's not fair to either of you. Fuck. Like who? Oh, that's Trent. With so much noise, it's impossible for you to concentrate. You know they're all excuses, though. Winged monsters don't exist. It's just your brain desperately trying to focus on what's... Trying not to focus on what's important. 
The sudden scream chills your bones. Your bone? Or your blood? Can I can I hop in? Yeah. The silence takes over everything. Oh no! And he's silence made. takes over everything. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh man! Okay. Look at his okay. claw. He's got his claw wrapped around the fucking dog's head. Oh god. Trent. Trent. All right. Save it. Hell yeah. Got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, it's definitely delivering. It's everything I wanted and more. It is, yeah, absolutely. You know, I just want to say, like, again, like, I'm super impressed with the art style, the pacing, just the idea of approaching a game like it's a like it's a book. I mean, I know that there are, like, visual novels and, like, text-based adventures and, like, all these different genres that kind of touch on these ideas, but I do really like uh, how these guys have, have approached that that idea. Um, it does It does feel uniquely pulpy. Uh, you know, in a way that I, I, I think that's kind of what they set out to do, and I think they're definitely hitting the mark with that. You know, it's it's very cool. Yeah, totally. I definitely, I feel like um, it'd be cool to do, like, a double feature where we played this in a little World of Horror, because, like, I oh, feel like World yeah. of Horror does a really good job also of, like, <clears throat> that kind of pulpy pixel art type stuff absolutely um, absolutely you know um another another thing i would say in its favor is that i like how like simple the music and the sound design is i feel like it would have been really easy to kind of like make all the music and the sound effects like really like overbearing and have there kind of always be some like really loud music kind of getting pumped out or some kind of like crazy sound effect here, crazy sound effect there. I think the fact that it's very understated, I think really like works for like the tone of this game. Um, and it lets the visuals and, and the sort of written narrative and the dialogue and stuff like that really kind of like stand on its own and really like shine for what it is. Totally. Well said, babe. Well, we'll definitely play some more. Um, maybe next week we'll pick it back up. Yeah. I get the feeling that yeah. it's pretty... It, it seems like it'd be pretty quick to to finish. Yeah, we could we could definitely crank through this. Um, and, you know, I, we're definitely discussing uh, playing some other games, too. Um, definitely leaning into narrative-focused games and sort of like horror games. Um, but that does cover a lot of ground. So thank you, uh, Matt, for, watching. for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, seriously, Matt. Matt, thanks for fucking hanging out, man. Like, thank you for honestly, like, thank you for the help. Like, you like helped us. <laughs> you helped us through, you know, uh, sort of sage advisor, and uh, we appreciate it. Night, Sleep yo. tight. Yeah. Good night, man. Um. So yeah, we'll be back. We're gonna keep doing this. Uh, we're going to hit some other stuff. We're going to, you know, power through this one. Um, yeah, I'm going to find out how to mod people and then do that. I'm going to mod everybody. <laughs> um, and then make some privileges for mods. I'm going to make emojis. I'm going to make clapbacks or whatever the fuck. I'm going to make poggers. Um, yeah. But yeah, also stories untold. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what mods do. Totally. Um but you can't ever go to sleep when you're the mod because that's when all the shit goes down. So you just have to give. Yeah, up yeah, sleeping. exactly. Uh, but yeah, like stories untold. I have that on my wish list. I can't remember exactly, but it's the one with like the red light, right? Like it's got kind of like a uh, what was that AI called in um, the Stanley Kubrick movie? Was the fucking Hal? Yeah, Hal. It looks it reminds me of Hal. Like it's got if I'm thinking of the right game. Um but yeah, anyways, we'll we'll update the Twitter with shit and if you ever other have any other wrecks or whatever. Um Yeah, if you have if you have shit that you really want us to play, you really wanna like put a gun to my head and, and say you you need to play this and for, force us to play it. And I'm I not saying that I'm not saying that we will, but we'll entertain that. 
we'll entertain it. We'll think about it. I heard a rumor that somebody here is going to be streaming on their own, so maybe watch out for that. There is a slim possibility that in the near future, uh, I will I will be doing some solo streams. You heard it um, here. Definitely, definitely interested in in doing a, a very low commentary solo stream of games that I think are just like really pretty to look at and and kind of meditative and just have like enough atmosphere that you know if you're doing some homework or working on something else you could kind of hop in and just have that going in the background so lo-fi we'll, we'll look yeah some 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 lo-fi beats to study and watch me game to if you will all right night matt night stream thanks for this cool night, game yeah What's night matt night name? stream chorus worldwide Thank you for the sweet content. We love it. This is yeah, exactly for real. shit. It's been a pleasure. You know, it really has. And um, I, I do, you know, after after kind of getting a glimpse of this, I really do feel uh, compelled to look at some of the other stuff that you guys have put out. So um, who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll stream some other work as well. Um, keep at it. Pulp Novel. We love to see it. There's not enough of that anymore. It's something that's really gone away, and you've brought it back. And I think that fucking rocks. Totally. Th th thank you again. Yeah. You know, parting words, keep calm, and I've heard of carry on, but pixel on? Pixel on. Keep calm and pixel on, y'all. <laughs>